All right, so this morning we want to talk about uh, Vemcot being approved to inspect T registered motor vehicles. I have with me the CEO of Vemcot, Ms. Natasha Prince. Good morning, Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. So this is some good news for people yes. with T vehicles because yes. previously only officials at the licensing offices would have been able to test T vehicles. Yes, yes. Well, I must say, um, Vemcot is approved an official testing station to inspect motorcycles, private cars not exceeding the tier weight of 2,270 kgs, and all T goods vehicles up to 3,200 kgs. Um, inspections can be done at our three locations, Monday to Friday, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. at our Beatum location, which is located at 22 Beatum Gardens, um, Highway Laventil. Our contact information for that location is 626-1468 or 625-9028. Also, we have our San Fernando location, which is at Union Hall Cross Crossing San Fernando mm -hmm. as well. Their contact information as well is 652-0396. And we have a facility at Tobago as well. So Tobago is now taking part in the inspection as well. At, they are situated at Old Farm Road, Scarborough, Tobago. And their contact is 639-2177. The cost of the inspection is $300. Same cost as licensing. Mm -hmm. And the inspection is done every two years. As opposed to for goods vehicle, for T-goods vehicle, usually it's, it's yearly. Now it's done every two years. When was this started? It started um, last week Friday, which is I think the 21st. Mm -hmm. It started last week Friday. And have people been coming in? Yes, we have a lot of people coming in because we, um, we launch it on our social media platform right. and so on. So we have a lot of people coming in. Um, I just want to let the general public know of the requirements for the yeah. inspection. And um, it's a, your original certified copy. Um, I know some vehicles, they require engine change and color change. However, that must be done at the licensing authority first. Mm -hmm. And you can bring the proof of the, um, proof of the transaction and we will conduct the um, inspection. Also, you must have your insurance certificate and your valid driver's permit. Your vehicle must be under wash and engine wash. That's one of the requirements. Um, at our Beatum location, mm -hmm. we have the infrastructure to accommodate that only at Beatum, so you can have your vehicles under wash and engine wash before the inspection. Um, while the inspection is going on, once the defects are detected, we have a state-of-the-art workshop with um, experienced and highly trained technicians and hybrid and CNG um, vehicles as well. And we do a lot of preventative maintenance. So it's a one-stop shop um, service that we offer at Femcot. So when your defects are detected, it can be repaired at our workshop as well. Yeah. Do people have to make an appointment to come to Femcot? Yes, like fleet owners. Um, if you have a large fleet, you can call any of our facility and make an appointment and the inspection will be done. We will accommodate that. But it's more on a, a walked-in, um, first-come, oh. first-served basis as well. Now, this is important, and it is important for people to know that they can go to Vemcot as well, because there have always been complaints that licensing office, there is always a backup and a black backlog. Yes. So, so Vemcot is there now, yes. and I'm sure that there may be others coming on board soon? I don't know. Um, we are 100% state-owned, so licensing authority and Vemcot falls under the same line ministry, which is Ministry of Works and Transport. So that decision lies with the line ministry. Yeah. Now, it is important for people to get their vehicles uh, inspected yes. before the end of this year because yes. earlier this year uh, the minister had said that you know people were going to be charged if their vehicles didn't yes. have the inspection stickers. Now the stickers was a problem. Yes. Are there stickers? No, that is not a problem. We have stickers and we have an um, inspection certificates. Um, what I want to let the general public uh, know is that um, your vehicle must be inspected. It is a legal requirement. And the minister did grant a five-month uh, moratorium um, extension, which is expiring on December the 31st, mm -hmm. 2018. What that means, from January the 1st, 2019, the onus is on the driver to ensure that any vehicle, whether it's a rental or a borrow vehicle that they are using on the roads of Trinidad and Tobago, they must ensure that it is inspected and roadworthy or else they will be charged. Now, I don't want to go into the legal too much, yeah. but I just want to give you a little hint. Um, the new laws that come that is out 
um, it's a numeric point system. So for traffic offenses, let's say you have a minimum of 10, mm -hmm. your license can be suspended. So for this offense, if you are caught on the nation's road driving a vehicle that is not inspected, you will be you will earn nine numeric points immediately for, for not being for inspected. For not being inspected. So the onus is now on the driver that if you you rent a vehicle or you're borrowing someone's vehicle, you ensure that the vehicle is inspected and the certificate stick the certificate is in the vehicle and the sticker is affixed to uh, the just screen. one quick question if the vehicle is under five years old yes. from the date of um manufacture yes. manufacturing the date they manufacture the vehicle um how long after do well, you I have think to get that it law still remains the li the licensing authority and the ministry of works and transport mm -hmm. will be able to discuss that legal part of it but i know the t goods vehicle um after two years it's due for inspection after two after years two from years. the manufacturer indeed okay. it is due for inspection and i see lisa nodding because she probably needs lisa do you have to get your vehicle inspected i do well i <laughs> did i actually did so i just have to put my sticker on but i mm. i don't want to lose points that's 19 points that's off your nine points nine, nine, points. nine, nine points. points and so the minimum is 10 for a traffic offense uh -huh. that could lead to suspension of, the, of your driver's permit yes. and therefore with this offense you earn nine numerics so points. that means you only have a one, one more, more. Yes. Wow, that's a before serious, your license serious, is suspended. Serious, yeah. But if you get your vehicle inspected but don't have the sticker? Well, once you have the inspection certificate, you can show the police. And, okay. of course, you will be um, exempted from being charged. Right. right. But at Vemcot, we have all the stickers and we have all the certificates at all three locations. And, and that is important because people were raising concern that at the um, licensing offices, they didn't have stickers. Natasha Prince, CEO of Vemcot, thank yes, you very much for coming welcome. in and chatting with us. A very important topic.